Hey guys, it's Captain Forest here. Now before I start this video, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone who's helped me get to a thousand subscribers. Much appreciated, as promised. I will be looking into more verses. I will look more into different verses and include some of them in the upcoming videos. I will still continue to do Marvel and DC related content, but I will also dabble into other verses too. So thank you very much. Now, let's get right to meet potential things today i have the spicy inverse dc matchup and we're going to go and see who would win more often not with these different versions of wonder woman and let's see who the strongest one is golden wonder woman versus witched mark wonder woman now if you guys are new to my channel please leave a like comment down below feedback is always nice to hear and of course uh, the links will be in the description shout out to the cough shop gang they make awesome content much appreciated to Splash and everyone else, and also shoutouts to HQ Squad, massive shoutouts to Niotic and Corin. Uh, they also helped me in my videos, and uh, Niotic was the driving force behind this video too, so massive shoutouts to Niotic for supporting me with some of the scans and the script. And also if you guys are interested in supporting, I have my links in the description, Cash App, Patreon, you name it. Links will be in the description, much appreciated. So, for starters, Let's talk about Golden Wonder Woman. So, during Dark Knight's death metal, Golden Wonder Woman leads her army of heroes into war against the Darkest Knight. In issue 6 and 7, Wonder Woman merges with her Lasso of Truth, taking on a unique appearance with her entire body turning gold, becoming Golden Wonder Woman. After taking on this newfound power and form through, the, through a fusion, she is extremely powerful and formidable in this form. She goes on to do battle with the Darkest Knight. Wonder Woman fights the Darkest Knight and performs very well and presses him to some degree and physically hurts him. Wonder Woman is able to punch the Darkest Knight through time and connects everyone's story through time and space to the ends of everything. Her lasso of truth is strong enough to put in some work on the Darkest Knight strong enough to grab and restrain him to some degree which is very impressive considering that the Darkest Knight just fought Perpetua and defeated her. Perpetua herself comes from the sixth dimension, which is home to the most powerful beings in existence. It is the multiverse's control room, and Perpetua started it all. It should be noted that she made the entirety of the sixth dimension, but she still comes from it from the perspective of lower people. Perpetua is the first creator the being who designed the universe slash creation before our own out of her brothers and sisters in the greater omniverse. She is the most feared. If you folks have watched my other videos, I go deeper into the cosmology. But the short version of this, right off the bat, Golden Wonder Woman is high out of versal and depending on how you scale the DC cosmology, if you use the better scaling for the cosmology and her fight with the darkest night she would be conceptually beyond high outer versal aka boundless so that's going to round up golden wonder woman let's move on to witch mark wonder woman so in justice league dark 2018 issue 3 wonder woman with a portion of hecate's power states that she's never felt power like this and she manages to hurt the upside down man. She then banishes him back to where he came from. Satana states it's a power she's never felt or seen before. This is impressive because this was literally just like one fifth of Hecate's power and she was able to do all of this which was pretty, pretty insane. John Constantine states that Wonder Woman is more powerful than any god that's ever walked the planet. He states that she could wipe them out of existence. Wonder Woman could barely control Hecate's power and it was beyond her comprehension. It was stated that the portion of her power could rip apart the world of magic and end it. This is actually impressive for a number of reasons, and in order to discover why, let's talk about Hecate. Hecate is the goddess of magic. Before the gods walked the earth, before any of the pantheons on earth was made, there was Hecate. She was the primal woman incarnate. Her symbol, the full moon, was the symbol of mankind's collective unconscious. Over the many centuries, Hecate has gotten stronger and wanted to completely replace magic with her own so that she could control all magic 
and keep the other kind away. The collective unconscious is Hecate's place of power, the primal dominion of magic, the first mystery. Hecate created her own afterlife and now owned both life and death. Circe states that she can rewrite the books of magic now. Circe then states that Hecate is after the sphere of the gods itself and it's been noted by Starman that the sphere of the gods gives the universe its magic and as we all know from my previous videos on where the sphere of the gods would be ranked depending on your interpretation of the cosmology and if you have the bleeder out of Ursul and the god sphere inaccessibly transcending it which mark Wonder Woman with just one fifth of Hecate's power would be high out of Ursul based on the statement of Wonder Woman having Hecate's power which would end all of magic which resides in the god sphere now if you use the lower scaling for the god sphere the god sphere would only be out of Ursul but if you use the impressive scaling it would be way higher than that transcending would be high out of Ursul pretty easily and of course if you have the bleed only high hyper then vice versa it was again stated that Hecate was before all the gods in the god sphere when magic was raw Hecate shaped herself out of the cosmos and played in a realm where thoughts could be made real. Hecate was able to seal away the entirety of the dark multiverse from interacting with the regular creation. The beliefs of humanity shaped the gods that came and each had their own creation myth which Hecate entertained. Which marked Wonder Woman has demonstrated to use reality warping. She's able to rip apart reality with Hecate's power. It was her will made manifest. This was only one fifth of her power by the way. Reality itself was writing and rewriting over and over again during Wonder Woman's fight with Hecate. So that's going to conclude which marked Wonder Woman. Now let's break this fight down. So for Golden Wonder Woman versus which mark Wonder Woman in terms of AP, I'd easily give it to Golden Wonder Woman. She was able to scrap with the Darkest Knight who was stated to be the most powerful being in creation with only Perpetua being able to rival him in power. This includes a character named Circe who at the time had all of Hecate's power at the time. So Golden Wonder Woman is within those one shot ranges for sure. As for her wing cons, she should be able to use a lasso of truth to just incapacitate or one shot. For Witchmark Wonder Woman, her best scaling comes from the fact that with only one fifth of Hecate's power, she was more powerful than anyone the Justice League Dark had ever faced by a very large portion. This includes beings like per Perala, who birthed creation itself and is the void before creation. Now in character, Witchmark Wonder Woman is inexperienced and is unable to fully utilize all of Hecate's hexes. And since Golden Wonder Woman scales higher in AP, she would one shot Witchmark Wonder Woman with little to no difficulty before she could even get any of her hexes off pretty much. And since Golden Wonder Woman would have at least two infinite inaccessible transcendences into high out reversal, and even if we give both combatants their best AP scaling, Golden Wonder Woman would be conceptually beyond high out reversal, aka boundless, which she would be on a higher tier then which mark wonder woman who would only be high out of versal so she'd completely get like blitzed and one-shotted so overall i have to give this fight to golden wonder woman better scaling better hexes she has better scaling compared to which mark wonder woman and just better showings overall so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please don't leave a like comment down below feedback is always nice to hear and i'll see you guys on the next one peace